All right, third graders, welcome to your very first flipped video. You should get so pumped because you are one of very few classes that gets to do this awesome thing where you're gonna have videos for homework. It's gonna be great. So we're gonna practice that today in class and this is kind of how things are gonna work. So keep tuned. Today's video is being brought to you by your hosts, Mrs. Martin, Miss Lewis, and Mrs. Sullivan. Get excited, ladies and gentlemen. So the first thing that we need to start with is our I can statements because that kind of guides our instruction. So for today's I can statements, Miss Sullivan, what is our I can statement for today? Our I can statement for today is to is to say I can use place value to write a three-digit number in three different ways. All right, awesome. So we're gonna learn how to write a three digit number in three different ways. But the first thing we probably need to determine is what is a digit and how do we know how to write it? What do you think? Absolutely, I agree. All right, let's figure it out. Okay, so the first part of our math year this year is gonna be discussing place value. And place value is exactly like what it sounds. It's the value of a number determined by its place in the location of the number. So for example, if I have 3,517, everybody say that number with me, 3,517, fabulous. Okay, so if I have 3,517, how much is this seven worth? Let's talk about it. So if I look at my place value, Okay, so if we're looking at this number, remember how we have place value columns or we have like a, a column for ones and then we have a tens column and then we have on and on. Which of these do you think is our ones column? I want you to point to it on your computer screen. Okay, if you said that the seven is my ones column, that is correct. So we're gonna go ahead and label that as our ones. Fabulous. Okay, now, what's the one directly to the left of that? What is the next column called? Yes, Mrs. Sullivan. I think it's called the tens column. Let's see, do, does Mrs. Lewis agree? I would agree on that, it is. Boys and girls at home, or in the classroom, I guess, do you agree that it is our tens column? Do you agree that it is our tens column? Thank you for answering. Yes, it is our tens column. Okay, if we continue moving to the left, what's the next column called, boys and girls? Mm, I heard a little bit of a mix. If you said hundreds, that is the correct answer. And then the next one is a little bit tricky. What is our next column called? That is actually called our thousands column. My pen is not working. There we go. Thousands. Everybody at home say thousands. Thousands. Fabulous. All right, so we've identified each of the place value columns, but we, if we look at each individual number within this larger number, what are each of those individual pieces called? Do you guys know? Hmm. It's a word that starts with a D, and it's not dog. <laughs> it's not dribble. If you said digit, you were correct. A digit is any number that you place, but it's only one. So it would be a three, a four, a five, a six. What digits can you think of? How many do you think there are? Let's try listing them out. So if I have, can I put a zero inside of a number? Okay, so that counts as a digit. Can I use a one? Yes. yes. Can I use a two? Uh -huh. Yes. Can I use a three? Uh -huh. Yep. Can I use a four? Yes. How about a five? Yep. Yep. Six? Uh -huh. Seven? Uh -huh. Yep. Eight? Uh huh. Nine? Yes. Uh -huh. How about ten? Oh. Why does ten not work? I heard some kind of mumbles about oh, maybe not. Why does ten not work, Miss Lewis? Well. I'm looking for a digit, and a digit was one number. Hmm. And what do you notice about 10? Well, it has a one and a zero, so it has two digits in there. Oh, so we're going to have to omit that and say that's not a digit. It's not going to count as one of our digits. So how many digits do we have in all? Can we count them? Yeah. Let's see. We have one, two, 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten digits. All right, does that make sense? Yeah. Yep. Fabulous. Okay, so as we look at this number, 3,517. Everybody say it again. 3,517. 3, Fabulous. Okay. So as I look at this number, I have to determine what is the value of each digit now because we know that we have our ones column, we have our tens column, we have our hundreds column, and we have our thousands column. So we need to place an actual value with each of these numbers. So if I have my ones, how much is that really worth? I have seven ones, right? So I have seven ones. How many is that? should be seven, okay? So I have seven, probably would help if I have ink in my pen, okay? So I have seven right here. Now if I go to my next column over here, I have how many tens? One. One. So if I have one group of ten, how many do I have? Ten. ten. I should have ten. Fabulous. So I will write ten here. Then if I look at my next number, what's my digit here, everybody? Five. Five. Oh, I didn't hear everybody say it. What's my digit here? Five. Thank you. Okay, so I have five here. How many, what, what's the value of this place value? Hundreds. hundreds. It's the hundreds. So if I have five hundreds, what do I have? Five hundred. Exactly. Five hundred. Okay. And then my last digit, if I look here, I have how many? Three. 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 And what place value? Thousand. Thousand. So what do I have? Three thousand. Three thousand. Make sure that you have all those zeros. Now what I can do is I can put a little plus in between all of these, and that's my true place value. All right, so now we have a challenge for you, students. We're going to put a number on the screen, and we want you to write it out with each place value. So our number for today is going to be what, Mrs. Sullivan? It's going to be 1,264. All right. So we're going to pause the video. We want you to pause the video, and you're going to answer this, and then you're going to turn it back on when you're ready, and we're going to check your work. All right. So you should have paused the video. Let's see if your answers were correct. Let's see here. I have what place value here? It should be my which column? Your ones. ones. Fabulous. Now, how many ones do I have? Four. four. So what number do I place here? Four. four. Should just be four, right? Okay. If I move over to the left one, what's my place value here? Should be the tens. Very good. The tens. Now how many tens do I have? Six. 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 Okay. This is different because last time I just had one. So what do I do with six tens? How can I count that out to make sure that it's accurate? Can I count by tens? Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's try that. If I start with one ten, I have ten, ten then twenty, 20 then thirty, then forty, then fifty, then sixty. Do I have six tens? Yes. yes. And what number did I end on? Sixty. Sixty. So I would write sixty beneath this number. Okay, moving right along to the left. What's my next place value? It should be the Hundreds. Hundreds column. Very good. And how many hundreds do I have? Two. Oh, that was kind of lame. Let's come on, students. How many do I have? Miss Lewis is not the only one who knows these answers. Let's see here. How many hundreds do I have there? Two. two. Thank you. Okay, so I have two hundreds. Let's see. What would that equal? If I have one hundred and then I have another hundred, it would be two hundred. Fabulous. Okay. Now you're awake. And if I move one more to that really tricky column, I'm here, it's my thousands column, and I have how many of them? One. One. So what number should I place there? One thousand. One thousand. And then I go through and I put my pluses in between because each number individually is not a true value. These are not the number. The whole thing is my value. Okay. All right, well, hopefully you guys learned a lot about place value. Some of it was probably a review, which is good. We love having review because that means that we're ready to build upon our new skills. Okay, so we can build upon that foundation that we already had. Now, 
As we move forward, please don't forget that each place value has its own quantity that you need to look at in that digit. It's not just six. It's six in the tens column, so it's really 60, okay? So we need to keep that in mind as we move forward. All right, the last thing that most of our videos will have for you is a joke that if you are watching the video, you can watch for the joke, and then at the end, we will give you the answer the next day in class. So for today's first joke, our question to you is, what do you call a fish with no eyes? Hmm, big time questions. What could it be?